In this lesson, we'll learn about mysterious substances called acids and bases. We'll classify substances as acidic or basic depending on how they interact with the H plus ion. We'll also be able to write the products of an acid-base neutralization reaction. Last lesson, we discussed precipitation reactions, and I showed that all precipitation reactions follow a similar pattern. In this pattern, the ions switch partners, and one of the new ion pairs is an insoluble salt. The other ion pair is called the spectator ions. Acid-base neutralization reactions often follow a very similar pattern. Acids and bases are soluble compounds. During the acid-base reaction, they switch partners to form water as well as soluble spectator ions. This kind of reaction is common and has a few names, exchange reaction, metathesis reactions, as well as double displacement reactions. In the past, I referred to acids as having a spicy hydrogen, by which I mean an H plus ion. H plus ions are commonly called protons because that's what they are. When acids are added to water, they dissociate into an H plus ion and a counter ion. For example, when hydrochloric acid is added to water, it dissociates into a proton and a chloride anion. Nitric acid dissociates into a proton and a nitrate ion. An acid can have more than one spicy hydrogen, which we would refer to as acidic protons. Now, this dissociation makes acids kind of strange. On one hand, acids are made of non-metal atoms, which are covalently bonded to one another. But on the other hand, the covalent bonds to the hydrogen atom is often broken, causing the acid to dissociate into ions. This puts acids somewhere in between purely ionic and purely covalent substances. This table shows a list of common acids. I've highlighted the acidic protons in red. Notice that every substance has at least one acidic proton. Some, like phosphoric acid, have three. This slide is a refresher on acid names. I won't go over it again, but pause the video if you want to review. I'll be calling acids by their proper name in this class. Chemists have two broad categories of acids. Strong acids are strong electrolytes. They fully dissociate. That is, they deposit all of their H plus ions into solution. There are six strong acids common in chemistry. You will need to know all six strong acids in this class. Weak acids are weak electrolytes. They deposit only some of their protons into solution. There are a wide range of weak acids. Acetic acid is a middling weak acid and the main component of vinegar. In household vinegar, only about 0.4% of the acetic acid has dissociated. Bases are any compound which can react with H+. Often, bases find this H plus ion by taking it from water, leaving behind an OH minus. Very strong bases have an OH minus anion, which they deposit directly into water. You will need to know the eight strong bases for the exams and laboratories. Don't worry, I'll show you the periodic table trick to remember them. Keep in mind two things about bases. Not all bases contain an OH anion. The example ammonia above does not, and we'll see another example later on. Also, not everything with an OH in the formula is a base. Things with a COOH in the formula are carboxylic acids. Additionally, alcohols have an OH in their formula, but alcohols are neither basic nor acidic. Luckily, we can use the periodic table to organize strong acids and strong bases. The strong bases are all composed of group 1A or group 2A cations with the hydroxide anion. A strong acid is formed when the H plus is added to a halogen, except for the top halogen fluorine. If you can remember these two patterns, you only have to remember the remaining three strong acids, nitric acid, perchloric acid, and sulfuric acid. When a strong acid and a strong base meat, 
they neutralize to form water and a salt. For example, hydrochloric acid neutralizes sodium hydroxide to form water and sodium chloride. This is called a neutralization reaction because the very reactive acid neutralizes the very reactive base to form the very unreactive salt water. The archetype for the strong acid, strong base neutralization is as follows. HA represents the strong acid and BOH represents the strong base. The molecular equation shows them switching partners to form salt, BA, and water. The complete ionic equation separates the ions, which shows us that A minus and B plus will cancel on both sides. Leaving us with this. The most important net ionic equation of the chapter, a strong acid, strong base neutralization is merely a proton finding a hydroxide ion and forming water. Now we'll add some complexity to the acid base category. Some bases don't have OH minus and some acids don't have H plus. For something to be basic, it only needs to react with H plus ions. Sodium fluoride is an example of a base. When sodium fluoride is added to water, the fluoride ion steals a proton from water, leaving behind an OH minus ion. The sodium is a spectator. The archetypal pattern for this reaction is shown here. A greedy anion steals an H plus from water, leaving behind OH minus. Similarly, not all acids contain H plus. An acid only needs to increase the amount of H plus in solution. Aluminum nitrate is an acid. When aluminum nitrate is added to solution, aluminum steals OH minus from water, leaving behind an H plus ion. The nitrate is the spectator. The archetypal pattern for this reaction is shown here. A greedy cation steals OH minus from water, leaving behind H plus. Some acid-base reactions form a gaseous product, which you've experienced if you've ever made a baking soda and vinegar volcano. Let's see where the gas comes from by practicing writing equation. First, let's write the equation between sodium, hydrogen, carbonate, and hydrochloric acid. We'll write the formula for sodium, hydrogen, carbonate, and hydrochloric acid. If we switch the ion partners, we'll add the H plus to the hydrogen carbonate anion, making H2CO3, also known as carbonic acid. The spectator salt NaCl is also formed. Carbonic acid decomposes, that is, breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide. Let's write this equation. Lastly, I'd like you to pause the video and try to write the net ionic for this equation. Here's the net ionic. Hydrogen carbonate gobbles up a proton, then breaks apart into water and carbon dioxide gas. We do not include sodium or chloride since those are the spectator ions. All right, time to practice this yourself. Try to write the molecular equation and net ionic equation for the following reaction between sulfuric acid and lithium hydroxide. And here we have our answer. This is a strong acid, strong base neutralization. Notice in the molecular equation that we need two lithium hydroxides to neutralize one sulfuric acid. Regardless, the final net ionic equation eliminates the spectator ions and the duplicates to give H plus and OH minus, making H2O.